going to do today is I want to talk through about NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, like why learn about NLP, like what is it actually going to do for you and what are the benefits of actually learning about Neuro Linguistic Programming. So as always, I'm Rebecca Lockwood, your Neuro Linguistic Programming Trainer, Hypnosis Trainer and Breakthrough Coach Trainer. I also train a couple of other modalities including Positive Psychology, um, Timeline Therapy, Law of Attraction, Energy and a couple of other bits and bobs. So if you are live with me and you're joining me today, just give me a wave, say hello. Let me know as I'm going through if you've got any questions that are coming up and if anything resonates with you, give me a wave. I'm live on Instagram at the same time as on Facebook, so if I'm looking around a little bit, that's why. So today I want to talk to you about why learn about NLP, like what are the benefits for you of learning Neuro Linguistic Programming and why should you be really interested in it? Last week I spoke about what NLP is. So I'll do a recap on that and then we'll talk about the kind of, because what I didn't speak about last week, which I want to talk about this week, is the benefits and the outcomes of learning neuro-linguistic programming and what that can actually do for you. Like what can the actual, what can the results be for you? And what kind of things would you, would you be able to do when you learn NLP? So last week we spoke about what is neuro-linguistic programming and I directed you to a free guide that I've got which you can also download today. If you're on Instagram with me you can just pop me a message for it. If you're on Facebook with me I popped the link in the description so you can download it on the description. If you're if you're listening to this on the podcast it should be in the show notes so you can download it for free on there. So last week we spoke about what is neuro-linguistic programming and I talked through how we all have external events. So when I say external events, I don't necessarily mean like someone's birthday party or, or a big event. I mean everything that we can see around us now is an external event. So when we sat here speaking to you, this is an external event. Now it's estimated that there are millions and millions of of potential bits of information that can potentially be in our awareness and we filter that in firstly through our senses so what we can see what we can hear what we can feel and what we can smell what we can taste and then we delete distort and generalize that information based on our model of the world now our model of the world is built up from our memories, our decisions that we've made, decisions that we've seen other people make, it's built up from our values, so the things that are deeply important to us, our beliefs, the things that we believe to be true or believe not to be true, it's built up from our personality types, it's built up and and created from our perception and what that does is that creates our perception, right? So when we create our perception of the world and our place in it we then project that out into the world which gives us our behaviors which gives us our outcomes in life so that's like a very big overview of what i spoke about last week and when i spoke about what neuro-linguistic programming is so when we use neuro-linguistic programming for me especially what i found was just by having that understanding of how my mind works and why it works that way and why I behave the way I behave in life, that was a massive breakthrough moment just for me, just to have learned that in its, in itself. When I first learned neuro-linguistic programming, I was actually still in a sales job. So I was working full time in a sales job and I was looking for some training to support my sales team and I was looking for sales training. And when I heard about neuro-linguistic programming, it was like described to me as it was like about communication about sales and about um the art of persuasion so that's how i perceived it at the time when i learned nlp it became so apparent that it was so much it is so much more than that so much more than that that is a very minuscule (laughs) a very small part of what it actually is So neuro-linguistic programming for me, by having the understanding of how my mind works and why my mind works the way it works, was a massive breakthrough for me. At that time, I had an almost one-year-old, so my my eldest child, who's now six, 
she was almost one at that time and I'd suffered quite severely with postnatal depression and OCD and I was quite poorly at the beginning but by that time I thought I was okay and then when I learned neuro-linguistic programming it was literally like this big black cloud had been lifted from my mind and all of a sudden I could see clearly again. It was a massive breakthrough moment and it was just by having the understanding of how our mind works and why our minds work that way just changed my life because I realised the perception I had of myself, the perception I had of the world and the perception that I had of my place in the world. And something that I spoke about last week as well is about how we create the building blocks to our own reality and how we perceive our version of reality and how everybody's version of reality is different because everybody has a different model of the world. If you didn't, if you did watch that, give me a wave and let me know if you um, if you caught me last week on that live. If not, I would recommend after this one that you go back and watch it because it is um, it is really powerful just to have that basic understanding of the way our minds work and the why our minds work the way we, that they work based on our own individual our own individual um model of the world i also did an interview last week with the bbc and you can find that i posted that on the facebook page rebecca lockwood and you can find that as well and in that i spoke about where our beliefs come from and i gave some examples from my own life which you you will find quite interesting so today i want to talk to you about like why why learn about nlp why learn about neuro-linguistic programming so i spoke already about neuro linguistic programming and what that means and i broke that down last week and as i said if you want to download the guide if you're on instagram with me the free guide you can grab by just popping me a message for the link and if you're on facebook with me the link's in the description if you're watching this or listening to this on the podcast on the replay and um, the link to download the free nlp guide will be in the description so what kind of things then will you be able to do when you learn neuro-linguistic programming? So the first thing, which should be quite obvious now, because I feel like I've repeated myself quite a few times, is just having that basic level of understanding. And I say basic level of understanding, but it's not really basic. It is the psychology of the mind. It's understanding why our minds work the way that they work why we behave the way we behave, how we communicate with ourselves and how we communicate with the world around us. So by having that understanding, so much can change. It definitely did in my life. And so many we've had, we've we've got over 300 students going through our neuro-linguistic programming practitioner um, training. And loads of them tell me that just by having that basic understanding, so much has been able to change for them. So when you learn neuro-linguistic programming, you're able to understand the way you operate and why you operate that way. But you're also able to then make changes if you feel like it's necessary to make them changes. So you first work on yourself when you learn neuro-linguistic programming and you apply it all to yourself first. And then you are also able to help other people to make them changes or just to have that understanding as well, if it's necessary. An example of this is, you know, I've worked with so many people on stopping drinking fizzy pop. Um, so, so, so many of, um, of, of our students have, there's one specific technique where we help you to change the kind of perception that you have of certain things um, and change it into something that you dislike rather than something that you like so let's say for example you're drinking too much fizzy pop and you want to stop drinking fizzy pop you can change the coding that your brain currently has for that thing and, and make it so that you don't want it anymore and one of the things that we often work on is coca-cola now i love coca-cola i don't really drink loads of it but i probably have a couple of cans a week of coca-cola i don't want to start drinking coca-cola so for me that's okay but for somebody else it may be in their perception in their model of the world that it's a problem for them and they want to stop drinking it so it's it's really important to remember that it's not about me saying oh well you want to reprogram your mind to be more successful or more effective because that could mean anything right and it's all down to your personal perception and your personal opinion or or getting in touch with your personal goals and the outcomes that you want in life to decide what you want to change if anything right because sometimes it's just having that basic level of understanding that really helps you to make them changes or not need to make any changes right someone um we we've got uh, some ads running at the moment on the free nlp guide and there was a comment on there and it, and it asked about the way understanding our mind and and is there 
a way to make changes if um, I think she referred to ADHD. And I said like, well, firstly, it's about understanding why your mind works the way it works. It's not necessarily about making changes. It's about firstly understanding why it works that way because that in itself can have such a big impact like we we can understand why we think the way we think so we can be kinder to ourselves um, in terms of self-love and self-love is a word that's thrown a couple of words that I've thrown around so much but like in my own example in my own life when I first learned NLP I was so judgmental towards myself I had this perception of myself and the way I should be and how I should act and how I should behave and the things that I should do in my life and if this is resonating do give me a give me a wave let me know that I'm not just a weirdo <laughs> um, but I judged myself but I held this high expectation of myself and my place in the world and I couldn't meet that expectation so because I couldn't meet that expectation I then beat myself up I had negative self-talk I was you know um, I perceived myself in a negative way and then because of that it was like this negative spiral loop because of I wasn't meeting it and then I was being negative towards myself and then I was giving myself negative self-talk and I had a negative perception of myself it then caused even more negativity in my life which led to, to even more negative behaviors because we project out our perceptions which lead to our behaviors and our results in life right so you can see this is going where this is going it was like this negative spiral that i couldn't get out of until i understood why i was thinking that way and when i understood why i was thinking that way i was able to just it was able to just disintegrate immediately because i understood why it was happening and i didn't need to make any changes because i just had that understanding of why it was why it was happening and then it was able to just drop out itself so that's really important to remember the other things that you can learn and kind of use and utilize when you learn neuro-linguistic programming is things like phobias so phobias of flying phobias of spiders phobias of open water you know a lot of our students um, it, it's been quite common two or three of our students have said um things around water deep water open water not being able to see the bottom of the water and, and they've overcome them just through going through an lp training and that's life-changing right it's life-changing learning nlp really helps people to increase the quality of their lives i think is the best way to describe it and it can be just the simplest of things but they make the biggest differences right so things like phobias limiting beliefs right i know i had two massive limiting beliefs i'm not good enough and um, i'm not worthy of having that i'm not worthy of doing that i'm not worthy of being that i'm not worthy of of, of anything really that which was my limiting belief and one of the things I talked about in, our, in the interview with the BBC, which you can grab the audio for if you go to the Rebecca Lockwood Facebook page, is about where limiting beliefs come from, why we have limiting beliefs and how limiting beliefs really kind of get strength and then we, we act in accordance with them. But they're not necessarily true. It's just our distorted perception of that moment in time, right? So I'll give you the examples now. So when we think back to the first time for example in, in my case it was not feeling good enough when i think back to the first time i felt not good enough i was um i don't know i was about five and it, i was um wanting to play with the other kids in the in the um playground nobody wanted to play with me it made me feel like i wasn't good enough the next time maybe around the same sort of year i used to sing that song dr jones and i had like this tape player and i used to put earphones in and I used to sing it really loud and my older sister who's about five years older than me used to shout at me and she'd be like you're crap at singing <laughs> stop singing and that made me feel like i wasn't good enough the next time after that um i was offered a solo part at, at ballet so i did ballet lessons and um i was offered a solo part but then i never got it so then maybe i thought well maybe i wasn't good enough and what happens with these and the the important thing to remember is then it's not necessarily true it's just our distorted perception of reality in that moment in time but what happens is our subconscious mind stacks these on top of each other and all of a sudden it creates this really strong like tabletop and then we have this perception whether we're consciously aware of it or not that we project out into the world which leads to our behaviors which leads to our outcomes in life right so 
this is why a lot of people can feel stuck or um, like they can't move forward or they've got a lack of confidence or a lack of self-belief because things have happened in the past, usually within the imprint period of 0 to 7, which like, let's use the example of um, the music. So I was singing out loud. My sister was only a kid herself, right? And I probably was crap, but it doesn't mean I'm crap at everything. But that was the perception that I had in my mind growing into my early 20s, right? Because it was only in my early 20s that I learned NLP and was able to release it time where I was offered the solo part but I didn't end up getting it I didn't get it and I only again realized this in my early 20s I didn't get that solo part because my mum couldn't afford to pay for my solo lessons to be able to learn the part right it wasn't that wasn't good enough it was that my mum couldn't afford to pay for the lessons for me to to be able to learn it right so it's really important to remember that it's not necessarily the truth it's just our distorted perception of what's going on in that moment in time. So when we learn neuro-linguistic programming, again, we learn the basic understanding of why we have these beliefs, where they come from, and then how to make the changes if we feel it's necessary. Sometimes just by having the understanding of where of where the beliefs come from and why we have them can drop them out in itself. In other cases, you have to do you do have to do some work with the subconscious mind and reprogramming your neural networks in order to change the perceptions that you currently have, which is what you learn when you learn neuro linguistic programming. So, if someone was feeling unsatisfied in life, or if somebody was feeling um, a bit stuck or something, usually a neuro linguistic program programming that can't speak what i wanted to say was usually they may think of going to a life coach however a neuro linguistic programming coach can help you to work with them neural networks to change them perceptions that you have which is a lot more in depth than a typical life coach would do and you work with the subconscious mind and the neural network so neuro linguistic programming is a lot like psychology and neuroscience kind of merged together which creates neuro linguistic programming um, other things that you can learn when you learn neuro linguistic programming is about help with motivation, with um, the kind of get up and go and creating a pull towards moving towards the things that you want to do. To stop procrastinating, so many people and especially business owners talk about procrastination and the lack of the lack of kind of get up and go to do things. So neuro linguistic programming really helps with this stop bad habits so i gave the example earlier about fizzy pop but this could also be things like checking phones too often checking social media stopping drinking fizzy pops and um, nail biting um snacking you know if, if you wanted to lose weight for example um i had itv a couple of years ago contacts me and asked me to do some work with a celebrity around checking instagram and um they said celebrity would have been making a lot of money from instagram so it was a bit of a tricky one because although they wanted something for TV, which would really help to, um, you know, sex sells, right? Um, which would really be entertaining for this celebrity to stop going on Instagram. And it would be a good storyline. Also, this said celebrity mix, I know they make a lot of money on Instagram. So when when you when you learn neuro linguistic programming you also learn about what's called ecology right and ecology is about asking yourself is this supporting me is this supporting is this supporting me is this supporting my close family and community is this supporting the wider community is this supporting the world so again it's not about me saying or a neuro linguistic programming coach or, or somebody else saying that you need to make the changes it's about you deciding is this something that I want to change? Is this something that will benefit me personally? Because in that example, well, it wouldn't have benefited her personally. So so, um, so it wouldn't have been a good outcome kind of all round really. So also about neuro-linguistic programming, it helps you to change the way that you think about yourself. So I gave the example, didn't I, where I had this perception of myself about how I should be, who I should be, my place in the world, how I should act. And I set this really unrealistic bar for myself that I could never live up to. And it was only until I learned neuro-linguistic programming and how we filter external events into our minds that I was able to make them changes. And, and actually not by doing anything, it was just, it just dropped out as soon as I understood the way that our minds work and why our minds work the way that they do. Another really common thing is 
around sleep and sleep trouble. Um, one of our students, specifically a few of them have said this actually, but one specifically has said that in, in the last few years, she's really struggled to get to sleep. She wakes up in the night a lot and she's not able to go back to sleep. So there are quite a few different techniques that you can use when you learn neuro-linguistic programming that help you to really um, tap into that subconscious mind and change any behaviors that are not currently working for you. Removing negative emotions, right? This And this list isn't exhaustive. Like there are thousands and thousands of things that you can, that you'll learn when you do neuro-linguistic programming or if you were to go to a neuro-linguistic programming coach. Negative emotions like road rage. <laughs> I'm laughing just because I'm thinking about Neil. Um, anger towards others, anger, sadness, fear, hurt, guilt, guilty feelings, any negative emotions that may be stopping you from moving forward or that you may be holding on to around loss or grief, um, around being stuck, around traumas from the past. And the brilliant thing about neuro-linguistic programming is this can all be content free. You don't always have to share the actual specific information of what happened. Um, in that event, you just have to go through the process. Releasing traumas from the past. Um, what we tend to do is it's very energy energy based, energetic. We hold on to emotions. So emotions are energy, right? And we hold on to them in our body and in our minds and our perceptions of the way that we believe um, things to be, right? In our beliefs. So remember I talked earlier about our model of the world and how we build up our model of the world. Well, when we think about beliefs and the things that we believe to be true and things that we believe not to be true or the things that we just believe, you know, we can be holding on to things from the past that are not serving us or supporting us moving forward. And so a lot of neuro-linguistic programming can help you just release this as well. Gaining confidence, right? So any gaining confidence around public speaking or being visible or, you know, releasing limiting beliefs like I'm not good enough or I'm not worthy or I'm not successful enough or I'm not um, able to do that, releasing that stuff. Because remember, when we think back to the way that we filter the bit, the NLP model of communication, which I spoke about in depth last week, when we are when we have a certain perception of ourselves and we're projecting that out, that's going to lead to our behaviours, right? So anything around that can really help. Releasing an internal conflict. This is a really common one around, um, and I experienced this as well, around on one hand, I feel like I want to be with my kids, but when I'm with my kids, I feel guilty that I'm not working. But on the other hand, I want to, uh, when I'm working, I'm thinking about being with my kids and I feel guilty that I'm not with my kids. Like that is a direct conflict and it creates this internal really unpleasant feeling that just kind of it's like friction and it, it's like butting heads right so when you learn your linguistic program and you learn how to drop things like this out and how to help other people do that too you can also um release conflicts around other people as well so if you and i and i spoke about this on the blog a couple of years ago and it's still um, being released on our social media scheduler. I gave the example of a conflict I had around my little uh, with my little girl, and how I felt guilty about something and and her place in it. And I remember when I was like halfway through it, I got really emotional, and I was like, "Why did I use an example with my child?" And um, but if you go through the blog, you can watch that replay as well, and I'll give you the example of how. We can help release conflicts towards other people when we don't want to hold these conflicts and if we feel guilty about holding them as well. Really, really powerful. Um, so yeah, so what I wanted to do today is talk to you about why why learn NLP and what is it that's going to, like how is it going to benefit you really? NLP can support you to, you know, if you want to use it in your personal life. For me, I would say NLP has helped me more personally than anything else and I, I teach it. So for me, just by having that understanding of the way the mind works and why it works the way it works and why we behave the way we do and how we communicate with ourselves and then the outside world has had such a life-changing effect. Um, I just don't even think that I can do it justice by explaining it. It's just, my life has completely changed. And I know I teach NLP, but I teach it because of that experience, because I know how much I experience from it. And I and my students tell me all the time, they always say, like, I know you said 
that it was going to be life changing, but I didn't expect it to be this life changing. Um, and that's just magical. So we have like three kind of different people, three kind of three different sets of people who learn neurolinguistic programming. We have people who already work in the career that they want to work in. They work for the NHS, careers, teachers. They're already doing something that they love. They just want some more tools and techniques to help them become more effective in what they already do. We also then have another group of people who know that they want to do something new. They're not currently satisfied in their current roles. They want to learn something new. They know that they're here to do something more and they want to learn neurolinguistic programming so that they can help more people. And we then have another group of people who are already coaching, already helping people, already working either as a life coach or some kind of coach or a counsellor or something. We've got quite a few psychologists as well um, and psychotherapists who learn our, our program and they just want some extra tools and techniques to help them in their coaching or their counseling practice to help them become more effective and support their clients even further so neuro-linguistic pr programming can help you personally and professionally and it's just so powerful so what i've done is i've popped the link so if you're on instagram with me if you want a link to the free nlp guide you can pop me a message for it if you're on um, facebook with me what you can do is you can find it in the description let me know if this has been helpful for you. I would recommend if you didn't watch last week's live session about what NLP is, I would recommend that you go back and watch that as well. If you want the link, just pop me a message and I can pop it pop it over for you. Um, next week, what am I talking about next week? Next week, I'm going to be diving into NLP coaching, I think. Um, and how that can really support you and what an NLP coach actually does and why someone would go to an NLP coach. So if you found this helpful, do let me know. And um, if you want the free NLP guide, again, if you're on Facebook, you can find it in the description. And if you're on Instagram, you can pop me a message for it. Have an amazing week and I'll catch you all soon.